I guess yesterday we discussed about uh, history, right? So today uh, we will concentrate on uh, next level. So that is like history as well as versions we discussed, right? So today we will see version wise features. So from starting cupcake to next version wise features, we will see here. Version wise features as well as the drawbacks. What are the things? What are the step by step features and drawbacks that we will see in detail here? So, here, yeah, like many, there are many different uh, things are there in each version. So, first we will start with the uh, cupcake, right? So, because I'm treating the version which has released as a operating system. So, the cupcake is the first version. This is released in a 2009. Right. The 2008 first version has released that already we discussed yesterday, but that is as an operating system. So, sorry, that is not as operating system. So, that's the reason I'm not considering that as a year, but this is the 2009. So, April this version has released. So, in this, there are some updates like the features and drawbacks are there. So, first in this, this is the auto rotation feature. Like uh, currently, now how the mobile, like, uh, landscape to portrait portrait to landscape rotation is there so that is a feature in this it is introduced like those days in like 2008 and 9 days that is the major feature but now we can feel that okay this is a small feature but those days it is a main and important feature that is and the next is the dictionary option has enabled like while you are typing that uh, message or something so the dictionary option is available and the copy paste option so nowadays we can copy and paste everywhere but those days copy paste option only on browser this is available only on the browser that too that is in a chrome browser not apart from the chrome browser it is not available any other like only it is available in the chrome browser but nowadays we can do anything like that. some of the widgets like uh, in the home screen some of the widgets has introduced like that is the uh, analog clock we can display analog clock Next is the music player, music player, and calendar. So, and calendar. So, these are all the things which has defined on those days in this particular version. Right. After this, in the same year, the next version, which is released, that is a donut. So, this is also in 2009. So, that is in the month of September, this has released. So in this version, again, there are some of the features as they, like this is the uh, an above, there is no search option. In this, the quick search option has any. So quick search, user has to search. It's like in a Google search, how we can like, in a, within a Google search, how we can search, are also in the apps. I have 20 apps. And 20 apps, I have a search option, right? I can search a particular app, I can get that app. So that option has introduced. And the next is VPN. So it can connect using this, we can connect to virtual private networks. In a previous version, we cannot connect virtual, virtual private network. But from this, we can connect that. And then after, voice search as enabled. So like nowadays, we are using the voice search, like, OK, Google, uh, in, in case if it is iPhone, uh, Siri, OK, Google, like those commands we can use. like. This is not like that, but basic voice search has enabled in this version. So that is the, this. And the next is the battery usage indicator. Like how much battery is currently available and what is the usage of that. So battery usage indicator has introduced in this particular version. Right, the next here. So next it is the fast, faster, faster booting compared to the previous version. So when we have in a previous version, it is a little bit slow, but here now when it is restarting the device, it is a good experience, faster booting compared to the previous version it is used. And in this, some of the getcher effects also introduced. Getcher means like, uh, this is the animation kind of thing. So what kind of animation is like, when you are, uh, like my mobile is ringing, just if I swipe left or right, or just I have, I have some movement on the mobile automatically, 
the volume of the ringing should be reduced, right? So that kind of gets like with movement, some kind of effects that we can say as a gets So that kind of some of the animations feature has introduced in this, right? After that, the next version. So that is a layer. So this is also in the same year, 2009, after one month, October, this is released. So in this, also some of the main and uh, some of the basic feature, like up to four or five, fifth, fourth or fifth version, each version has only minimum features, four or five. But after that, each version has 10, minimum 10, maximum 25, 30 features also there in uh, some of the versions. So in this version, the Bluetooth, it will support from here. It will support for the Bluetooth. Previous versions cannot be support here. And here, typing speed. Like when you type with the virtual keyboard, like because here in uh, this version, the virtual keyboard as introduced with the virtual keyboard means whatever the keyboard right now we are using, not a physical keyboard, like virtual keyboard, whatever the keyboard it is using. So that virtual keyboard feature it is supporting so that is here. Uh, with this, we are uh, getting that virtual keyboard as as much of speed that is introducing here this. And the next is the here. It support the zoom in, zoom out option in this, like a browser. Supports zoom in, zoom out in only in a browser. Zoom in and zoom out in browser. It will support this. Just yeah. a minute. So here, uh, zoom in, zoom out option. So that is introduced only in a browser, not outside of that. It is only in a browser. It can support the zoom in and zoom out option. Outside, it cannot support in this. Next is here, we have some drawback. So that is, it is not supporting for the Adobe. Adobe means nowadays, like uh, we are not dependent on Adobe, but those days, like you want to read a PDF file, that is uh, Adobe Reader was required, also some kind of animations. So those, everything, it is supported on this only. So that is a drawback we got here. So it is no Adobe support. So that is a major drawback in this version. Right. Next version, which is uh, has the Proyo. This is May 2010. This is released. So in this, the first, they fixed the Adobe issue. So it supports the Adobe. Adobe. So supports, I don't, means whatever the drawback has came in a previous version, that is fixed, supports, I don't. Right, that is the first uh, thing. After that, from here onwards, so multi-touch will work, like the user can touch multi, like uh, previous days, normal basic mobiles, it is coming, right? So basic mobiles, user can touch with the uh, sticks. So that feature, multi-touch can be support for the lot of things, it will be supported. And also in this version onwards, user can set up the day and night mode. Like day and night mode, what is advantage? If I set night mode in my mobile, so the value like the brightness can be reduced automatically so that uh, battery will consume a little bit less compared to the regular, regular. So that is introduced in this version. Next is the device policy. So the device policy feature has introduced. So the device policy manager has introduced like the uh, in some of the applications, maybe user has to save the is passwords and uh, user the user ID and passwords. Whenever they are saving that, so they must should has follow the device policies manager has introduced. So they must follow that standard. Then only that can be here. And from this version onwards, user can get the data packet. Let us say I have I'm changing my mobile. So if I want to change my mobile, whatever the data as of now I saved in this particular mobile, the same I want to uh, transfer into the other mobile. So that data backup system has introduced in this version. And next for the developers, this is a main and important crash reporting. So this crash reporting has introduced for the developers. Let us say my app, I already released one application in a Play Store. So some of you installed my application, but 
indirect there is no in uh, direct contact for me and you but in your mobile it is crashed let us say in vivo android 13 so like once whenever you are clicking on the login it is crashed so once that i enabled this feature in my mobile uh, like my app automatically i'll receive a mail so and so, so vivo mobile in android 13 because of this issue the app has crashed so that what happens i can uh, fix that issue and i can re-release re the app so that user can get uh, after few days it will be work free application will get this right then from this version we can able to share the hotspot also so we can share the hotspot feature to other people and here one drawback has came that is it is not supporting for the internet calling so that is a major drawback in this issue so it is not supporting the internet calling internet calling means those days it is mostly the skype but nowadays we have many sources for those days it is a skype so that is a major issue it has came right after this the next version which is released has a gingerbread so the gingerbread has released in the same year december so december 2010 it is released so in this version now this is the like the first of all yet the internet calling issue has resolved so the internet calling issue has resolved here first so internet calling issue resolved internet calling issue resolved so this is the first benefit and after that next is the like here uh, as of now they only concentrated on a functional device so here onwards ui related changes like ui related some of the updates happened like to attract the users so it is supporting like attracted this changes and also here it supports the third party keyboards so because uh, as we already we discussed from 2010 onwards other manufacturers has came into this so that they are developing the small small applications like if anyone developed the third party keyboard so that the third party keyboard you can install and it can be supported that and also 3d sensor so 3d sensor and motion uh, animation kind of thing it will support so here we can do the data decoding and encoding we can able to do like uh, whenever like previous version it is uh, released as a device policy manager right so for that upgradation like data saving has uh, the people has facing lot of issues that's the reason here data encoding and decoding has introduced in this so whenever user has to save any coding and encoding data that he, he can able to do with this data they can able to do that here and it uh, here the main like all the features page is okay but here they got one major issue that is it's not supporting to the multi-core processor multi-core processor so what is like multi-core means in even our laptops also we have that uh, uh i5 i7 i3 7th generation 8th generation 12th generation like that so like, like that it is not supporting for the multi-core processor here because as of this still they are working with the only one processor because only they tied up with the HTC. Because of that, they are completely dependent on only one hardware that is the HTC. So the whatever the hardware the HTC has in that HTC, everything it is supported. But when a other manufacturers has came into this, then they got this issue. The next version that issue has to resolve, that is in a February 2011, the next version has released. So in this version, the multi-core processor issue has resolved. So it will support support multi-core processor. So support multi-core processor, but it support it will be support only for the tabs tablet tablet means tabs not for the mobiles. Why? Means nowadays there is no difference between the tab and mobile except resolution. But those days tabs will come with a high hardware configuration and mobiles will come with a very less hardware configuration because of that is the reason this is not supporting those days then immediately after uh, this is a February right in the next April in honeycomb itself they released a one more version that can be support for the mobiles as well as the tabs 
but they said immediately like if any other hardware device manufacturers has came into this you must come with the minimum hardware of this then it can be supported that they announced in this version so like in this version one more like that is a live streaming like uh, uh, we can able to see the um, tv channels and everything that live live streaming has introduced in this version so next is the ice cream sandwich so that is the ice cream sandwich this is the next version so that is november in november 2011 this is released so there is a like almost it is a six to seven months gap here in this version because a lot of changes is happened in this like home screen folder so nowadays uh, we are creating the home screen folders like all the banking related applications i'll move into one folder and social media in one folder other is one folder games in one folder like that the home screen folder has introduced in this version and the virtual button on a ui so on a top of the whatever the ui on that virtual button so virtual button on ui in in between of that you can create a virtual button that provision has given and swipe to clear the notification so swipe to clear notification like now like i received the 10 20 notifications so just so if i swipe left to right automatically that will be clear right so that swipe to clear notification has introduced in this version so that is next is the screenshot so you can take the screenshot and you can share screenshot share so that feature has introduced in this and the next year it is a hotspot already a previous version we seen and on that some of the updations have been hotspot updates hotspot updates in this version it is happened so right next version so that is a jelly beans so in jelly beans here this uh, version it is uh, in the 2012 in the month of june so almost uh, after seven eight months this is released here so in this the first year auto complete text view this is like in our contacts now uh, like i want to search the contact name start with sa so simply i can go and i can search with sk all the sa related data will be filtered right so that kind of autocomplete text view. This is like nowadays it is main and important uh, we will use in our development in many places. So that will support from this version on what's only. Then after that, some smoother UI related changes has happened. UI the you attract the user. So the UI related changes has done. And from this version onwards, it supports the multi-language. Like you can uh, create your local language so that can be supported from this version onwards multi-language it can support for multi-languages right next is the location accuracy so like uh, who are using for the locations in their apps so they will get accuracy locus. previously there are some issues so the location accuracy has updated in this version so that is from the jelly bean side right next is the kitkat so this KitKat is also like in uh, 2013. So 2013 in the month of September. So in this version, so what are the benefits like the battery management? So user can manage his battery like uh, after 40% of battery, I don't want to use my data for the social media application so that you can restrict so that kind of feature it is introduced next is the okay google now like we will use okay google right so that okay google feature has introduced in this next is the cloud storage so from this version onwards we can store the images or the contacts that we can store you know like once now nowadays once you capture the image that automatically syncing to your uh, gmail account right so that feature has introduced from this version that is in a 2013 itself it is introduced and also from this i can connect with the wi-fi printer so user has to connect with the wi-fi printer and uh, next is the multitasking from this version onwards at a time you can do multitasking like uh, while listening the music i want to access some data in a browser or i want to go with uh, somewhere else like i mean so like uh, 
while measuring the music i can play a game or i can uh, chart something like that kind of multiple activities you can do here this next is the lollipop so this version it is released in 2014 so that is in the month of october so in this version there is a huge change so what is that huge change in this version uh, now we will see that huge change in this version so as of now the complete architecture is in a 32 bit architecture now this has changed to 64 bit architecture so 64 bit architecture it is so completely the architecture has changed because of the security reasons so this is here but once this architecture has changed now it will support for the watch tv auto cars like many other electronic gadgets it means very small resolution to high resolution it can support and more security because uh, 64 bit means obviously it is a secure so that security is as introduced here more secure it is more secure and uh, here in this uh, next two in a quick settings so quick settings like whatever like you want to add one option to quick setting you can add if you want to remove from the quick setting one you can remove that so that is introduced in this version next is the marshmallow so marshmallow so this marshmallow is like uh, this is released in uh, 2015 so in the month of may so marshmallow it is in, a, in the month of may it is released so in this as for the 64 like in this the major features like it is uh, based on the 64 bit architecture so the design changes has updated design changes as for the 64 bit next is the Google tap on home, Google. Even in lock screen also, once you click on the double tap, you directly can open the Google page. So that is like, okay, Google on home screen. Okay, Google on home screen. Previously, okay, Google is there, but it's in a settings. Now it will move to the, move to the home page. And the next is the file explorer. So the file manager, like previously we don't, we don't have this file explorer feature. Now that file explorer feature has introduced here in this uh, to like uh, what are the applications like we can move from one place to other place so that we can able to do that, that file explorer feature has introduced. Next one more that is a major important that is a security. So this is the uh, we can say like once we install it is asking that hello camera permission allow that permission this permission right so that kind of permissions runtime permissions so that is main and important this runtime permissions has introduced in this version so this is like uh, because why this feature has introduced means previously without asking the user permission it is collecting the data from the user side like a simple example is a true color so true color is collecting the too much of data without asking our permission Right, so that is the main thing. Like here, it is uh, we are getting the data here now with asking the permission of that. Right. So the next version, Nugout. So this Nugout here, uh, this is almost in uh, 2016, in the month of June. Right, in the month of June, this has released. So in this first one is the battery battery power optimization so the battery power optimization so like it is a uh, battery power usage it is like uh, how the optimization is done means like when the mobile is ideal even i'm not using mobile for the continuous like for 10 15 minutes so automatically that mobile will reduce the battery usage percentage means it will restrict the for background it will restrict that so that is first when pick next is the better notification so better notification control so user has to control like uh, some of the application regularly sending the notifications like uh, shopping cart banking so those notifications regularly sending so for those people like previously the notifications are the paid version but from this version like firebase feature has introduced so with the firebase we can send easily with the 
too easily we can send the notifications to the multiple people like that is next is the data saver mode so i can set up the data saver mode in my data usage like after uh, 200 mb i need alert or i want to stop the data saver mode like you can use that data saver mode it is introduced in this next is the arrange quick settings so arrange quick settings menu like in a quick setting menu previous version also it is there like previous uh, before this version so the quick settings menu has introduced so the quick settings so menu you can able to add here whatever you want to add or you want to delete you can delete or you can add one more menu extra menu that you can do this next is the arrange uh sorry quick settings already discussed right enable power notifications like a battery low battery low power notification so that's kind of battery low like uh, those kind of you want any power notification uh, that kind of notifications you can able to get that notifications here enable power notifications right enable power notification system next is the uh, display size related things so display hue speaks because of the multiple uh, displays multiple resolutions because uh, from previous version of it is supporting for the watch to uh, TV, right? So display related issues like some of the devices issues has came. So that issues has resolved here. This next is the app shortcuts. So as a user, you can create app shortcuts in a home screen. So you can create a app shortcuts like the, in a menu, it will be there. But in a home screen, you want to create a shortcut, you can create the shortcut. Next is the share. So if I create any document to share pin, like I create one, uh, sorry, I, I in a document, once I click on the share, once I click on the share, automatically here, all the shareable, which are the apps are there in our mobile, all should be listed there. From there, I can select and I can share that. Next is the file explorer feature previous version, like here, uh, like uh, category has added, like audio in one category, video in one category. So that is added in this. Next is the mono jock, mono audio. Like who are using the Bluetooth with the single jock. So for them, previously there is uh, some nice disturbance will come. Like now this version onwards, that the kind of issues has resolved. So it can uh, support properly with all the uh, issues like this. Next is the emergency info. So this emergency info is nothing but like even in uh, uh, my mobile is locked, but I have already set the navigation, but my mobile is a back click. I'm travel. I want to travel from Hedi Patnam to Telvinagar. So I'm traveling, but there is a road repair is there. Our huge traffic is there. Even if your mobile is locked also, it will alert you like it will give the uh, feature like uh, road as blockers are kind of alert will give that. So next is the night mode. So previously day and night mode has introduced here day and night mode has automatically based on the brightness of the outside system itself it will decide and it will resolve the issue. So that is the day and night mode feature has introduced. So these are the features are there in the nug outside. Right, next Oreo, from next Oreo and Oreo itself, it has 20, 25 features. And after that, there are some of the other features as there. So that we will see in our next class. So till this theoretical sessions, like a little bit will go like half an hour session only because if more time theoretical session means you also feel like uh, kind of bored. So from next, we will see the next steps. Hope these all are clear or you have any questions. Clear, sir. Okay. Clear, sir. Okay, then we will be on Monday. Okay, sir. Sir, can you get on uh, the repo installation? I'm going to check sir. Installation. I'm going to take two, three days for the theoretical session, sir. Okay. Chapter 11 of where we love the next chapter. No, sir. Sorry, sorry. No problem. Thank you so much. Okay,